The operation to lower the containment dome over the oil leak in the Gulf has begun. GE to help build the world's largest biogas project based on cow manure. And Los Angeles becoming the new headquarters for electric vehicle startups. This is your Daily Energy Report. Hello, and welcome to your Daily Energy Report for Friday, May the 7th. I'm Ben Lack, and I'll be bringing you top stories coming from the energy sector. Starting off. BP workers have finally completed work on an oil containment dome that will be used in an attempt to curb the major oil leaks at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. BP, which is responsible for stopping the leak and covering the damages caused by the oil spill, shipped the four-story high containment dome to the spill site and will start the process of lowering this 100-ton structure one mile below the sea floor. If the drop is successful, then the containment dome will collect the leaking oil and deposit it in a ship on the surface. But moving the large structure into just the right location can take several days because this operation has never before been attempted at the depth of approximately 5,000 feet. GE's Eco-Imagination Division has announced that their Genbacher engines have been selected for the world's largest biogas plant that's based on cow manure. Once built, The plant will convert the manure from 250,000 cows into 38,000 megawatts of electricity a year. Not only will this new plant help curb the rising energy consumption in China, but the new facility will also reduce up to 180,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions each year. And finally, in the latest in a series of decisions that are slowly making California into the new electric vehicle hub, This week, Chinese automaker BYD announced that their North American headquarters will be in Los Angeles and not in Detroit. The automaker began selling its first plug-in hybrid vehicle, the F3DM, just this week, but the company also manufactures its own electric vehicle batteries for future hybrid models. Fisker Automotive and Tesla are also electric vehicle manufacturers who have chosen to locate their headquarters in California. So be on the lookout for other companies making similar announcements. Have thoughts or comments about what you saw on today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Next week we'll be in Washington, D.C. to cover the Alliance to Save Energy's Energy Efficiency Global Forum. So make sure you tune in next week to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great weekend.